Good morning, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. And guess what? Today's Bling Bling Day. I am excited. We're trying something that a lot of you have been um, asking for over the last year. And I've collected enough stuff, so I think we're going to do it. But I wanted to say thank you for the wonderful response to my... Oh, my God, they're good. I love the color. Laura, you've converted me. <laughs> this is beautiful. The glitters are amazing. Um, I have a new batch coming of different other glitters from Laura's Art Corner. So you're going to have to keep here and check them out because I'll be playing with some new ones when I get them. Very excited. So with that, again, thank you for the response on that. And today we're going to do a three-piece canvases. We are using multi-colors of glitter, multi-colors of glass. And because you guys had a nice response to this color, that's what half the canvas is today. So with that being said, my amazing, beautiful people, I have to get into my working clothes and I will see you guys in a minute. Bye. Hello, you are way over there. I had to get you in. I have three canvases today. I love doing the multi canvases, as you know, and I love doing the different depths of canvases. But these ones today are just straight, normal canvases. And I'm pretty sure they're 10 by 20, but I'm gonna give it a measure because I lost my paper. It is 12 by 24. So these are 12 by 24s. Oh my goodness, I do have a gallery wrapped one. Do I do one? No, I'm gonna leave it this way. So I have had many, 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 many requests to do a painting, a glitter painting, with all of my collected leftover shakings from all of my other bling blings. And that is what's gonna to happen today. I have silver. I have some blues. We have, this one is, it's hard to tell. Here, let me put it in a clear cup. I want a clear cup of this silly. We'll put it in this thing so you can see it. This one is actually pink and silver. We have my um, turquoise and silver. Woof. We have some red and silver. We have, this is copper, the one that's from, the one that had the copper pearls. So. The one pearl might not make it in, but we're, we've got the glass for that. And this is all of the shake off from last week's bling bling with all of that beautiful Laura's Art glitter in there, gold. And then in these ones, this is gold as well. This one is copper. It's got that amazing glitter that I liked from uh, Martha Stewart glitter, that fire opal, that's in there. And this is black. So I pulled out my canvas because I, I, I'm in love with this color. I pulled it out and I played around like, like that blue is gonna pop on there. This is gonna pop on there. So I thought that's why I decided to do that color. And then my other dilemma is what is gonna be the contrasting color. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm not, as you know, guys, I'm not a gold girl, but the gold would look pretty with this. And then I'm like, but there's so many different shades of gold. Is it gonna be right? This is my modern master's gold. So I don't know if that's gonna be, cause it's hard to pack, to get the, the, the right one. And then I'm looking at the black. I'm so thinking I'm going to do it with the black. 
and I don't know. I'm still, I don't know. So, um, yeah, my heart's leaning to the black and I don't know why. I'm just gonna stack all my glitters here in glass. See, you never waste it, my friends, because it's all, you can always use it with something. So, I don't know, guys. And I wish I could do something that I could hear you guys talking to me as I'm doing it because I'm like, oh my goodness. And, you know, my two boys at home, my husband and my son, they have, they would not have an idea. So, oh, let me, I'm going to take a little, I'm going to cover it. So either way. I want to do this. So this is what you can, like I said, if you do not want to watch this aspect of it, carry on my friends and you can, I'm just showing you the whole process. This is how you figure out what you want to do, right? Okay. I know I'm definitely using this. So I'm not too worried about I am not going to put the black on there, but I will, um, what have I got that's black? Of course you can't find nothing that's black. All right, let me just paint, um, we'll just paint this on the lid of this thing here. And we'll set it down. I just... I don't know guys, what do you think? I'm so leaning towards that black because that orange red is so bold. I, I, okay, made my decision. See, that's how my brain works. It probably goes good together, but in my brain, I'm thinking like, yeah. And then all of the, um, the contrasting because I've got gold and silver glitters in there okay made my decision oh my goodness guys okay let's get let's get busy I'm gonna get rid of the whoop, rid of this as you've seen my floor when I did my table that's why it's a mess because I just dropped my black onto the floor and it's usually when I'm in the middle of a video and it doesn't get wiped up okay I'm going to grab my little bit of water and we're going to get going on here with the red. Got my bucket going here. Put some water in it. I have my amazing paintbrush. And today we're just going to go straight down the center since we've got so much going on with the colors of everything. We're just going to go straight on. And with that, I'm going to wet this a little bit, shake her out, and here we go. I'm just going to go right down the center and just get rid of, I've had these ready to go to paint and something is scraped on this one. And yes, they are um, taped. My push pins are on there. And let's get painting. I'm excited. I'm just going to dump in that way. And I'm think, oops, I'm glad blocks go in there. <laughs> and I'm thinking that, like I said, this line does not have to be 100% perfect because we're going to cover it all up. And I didn't put blending medium in this because we are not blending any colors together. So.
and today we're going to do something that I personally don't do. But um, in between, before I put my uh, bling on, we are going to put a Coat A Liquitex um, Clear Varnish. A lot of people ask, I personally like the raw between the glass. It just gives that whole different texture. Get your sides as you're going. So yeah, I personally do not like putting it on. I gotta get more paint on my brush. And this thing is, here, let me use the lid. This thing is, and I don't wanna dump it out onto something because I don't want to waste it. And then I found another tester pod and I'm 100% sure it's not the same color, but it's pretty close. It's more orange, more of a brownie, red orange. Oh yes, if you do not know my brush, this brush is a Royal, and I should know the name by now because I read it off every Sunday. Um, Royal and Lang Nickel Jumbo. Actually, go to Michael's right now. They're all on buy. Oh, it's buy two, get one free. I did a Michael's run the other day because here in Ontario, we are like on serious lockdown. Even when we had our first lockdown, we weren't as serious as we are right now. I was able to still go into... Walmart, pick up paint, Walmart, pick up clothes. Um, right now, everything is sectioned off. You can't purchase anything. Not even, I tried to buy a jug because I, I wanted to, um, I needed a new plastic jug for to put my drink in the fridge. I couldn't even, I'm just gonna, oh, I don't want to line because it's tech, it's uh, raised. I just wanted to wipe that off. Um, so yeah, yeah, I couldn't even go in and buy a pitcher. I wanted to get like an like a, a rectangle shaped pitcher to put in my fridge. Now I'm gonna do another little bit here because I've got some lines down here. I don't know if you can see. You're so far back because I had to get you all in. There we go. One down. So I'm going to pour this down here. And that. And I'm going to bring this back down. So I'm going to even it up here. You can draw a line if you desire. I, I'm a big eyeball person. I like to eyeball everything I do. Most times it turns out, but you know what? It doesn't have to be 100%. That's the thing with art. People, some people get so, oh, it's got to be this way and that's the only way. And no, it does not, my friends. You just go and you have fun. And that's the main thing is to have some fun because um, it's kind of an expensive hobby now. It's not cheap like it was anymore. So if you're being so rigid and not having fun doing it, well then, that's a lot of money to have not fun. So, so oh my goodness, yes, I got a Michael's haul. I ended up with the love of my life, those Pebbio Studios, iridescent blue-green, iridescent green-blue, and iridescent iridescent green yellow and iridescent blue green and green blue I didn't know that there were two I thought it was just one color but no nope. there's two of them and it was buy one get no buy two get one free <clears throat> so I might try and do a bling bling with that amazing blue or that amazing green that I love that would be a pretty color spring color all right now these are nice I these are a little bigger normally when I 
first started doing these because I was buying the 10 by 20s at Michael's with the, I think there's six in a box or a package and they're like here in Canada, they're $17, $16.99 for six canvases. So, you know, because you're starting out and you're playing around, you tend to want to do some cheaper things. And that's what I did all my bling blings on. They were all on um, 10 by 20 canvases. It's a nice size. It's, you know, and I have, I've sold a lot of them. And um, I was even getting them, purchasing them in sets of three so that they could hang them together. And when you get the multiples, again, you can hang them reversed as well. They don't have to hang this way. Like I said, you gotta look up outside of the box with things. Not everything is, like I said, rigid. Sorry, it's, it's life lessons with Sherry on Sunday. Oh my goodness. All right. Woo! That is so pretty. Oops, there's a little lump in there. I don't want to pour it. Well, maybe I'll just grab something to get it out. And again, this is old. Um, the first time I did this, it was last year in May. Well, like I said, um, I think my first bling, my bling bling that I did with this color before was a, a custom, a, a commission piece for my cousin. And she was sending me all these pictures and I ended up, um, that was the day that when I put this video up, I'll link it in my description box. And that was the day that YouTube made me creator on the rise. And I was just like, um, honored and amazed. And they don't do it very often. Like they don't do, they only do two people a week. And there's a lot of people on YouTube. So I was quite honored when they chose me to be creator on the rise. And <clears throat> with that, I labeled this um, painting the, the top tomato because <laughs> that's what the color was, right? And it was hilarious because a lot of people um, thought it was tomatoes and they were coming at my channel with tomatoes. But I never thought of that until right now. The gentleman that was, because they, they choose two, and the other gentleman that I was with, um, he, he was a tomato gardener. <laughs> so it was quite funny. So I don't know whether people thought it was, they seen this gentleman and uh, thought that mine was tomatoes as well because of the name. That's funny. I just thought that's, yeah. Anyways. I don't know if our trailer is going to be, oh, I hope, like I said, everything here in Ontario is so up in the air. I've taken a leave of absence from my job because my husband, um, he will not do well if he gets COVID. So it's with him being disabled and, um, have, he's having problems with his breathing at the moment. So it's like, no, this isn't going to happen. So I took a leave of absence, but I so want to go back, but now it's even worse than what it was. So I work in a nursing home. That's my, it's my main job. I'm a personal support worker. I work uh, in a nursing home and I love the job. It is very hard work, but it's very satisfying. Geez, you're getting Sherry's whole life story today. I don't know. Maybe I need to play music while I paint. <laughs> some people might be happier with that if I played some music and fast forwarded me. 
All right, I think that is good. I'm gonna let, looks like a little bit here, but I might touch that up after. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm going to um, wash out this brush because that would be pretty in the black. And if I can lean across, then I'll put you on pause. And I'll be right back, my beautiful people. Okay, are you seriously kidding me? I am, not that I'm technically challenged, but because I have you guys, my camera stand is off of my table. It is that far back. When I hit my button, when I hit my button, I assume I, it goes. I don't know what part you caught, what part you did not catch. But what in the heck? So I have come down and I've looked at my canvases. I seen the gold on here and it is just crazy. I was so, it blended well, like it's nice together. So I opted to come down and do the gold. My camera just shut off. And, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm surprised you people are still with me. So I've base coated one, base coated two. Well, the only good thing is that you didn't have to hit fast forward. So this is my Modern Masters. I'm gonna have to go through the whole thing because I don't know what you got and I apologize. This is Modern Masters. It's, I bought it at Michael's. It is um, rich gold. And it is a, yeah, Modern Masters Metallic Collection. And I've done a couple of bling blings with these. My, I went through my paint. Oh my, I can't, oh. I was telling you my whole life story too. You missed a whole bunch, guys. Um, <laughs> my top color is from Burr, Bear, B-E-H-R-N, B-E-H-N. And yeah, B E H R, and it's the marquee. It is a um, just a sample tester pod. It's a nice way to get a color that you want custom made. You can go in and take a swatch of anything, um, like if you got a pillow or something you want to match. All you can do is take it in. They take a picture of it. They throw it in their computer, and they'll make you a custom color. So, and it's an amazing uh, a way to get different paints. And I think it was only six bucks. And this is done, as you've seen, those three, I've mixed up a huge. So it does quite a bit. And I was saying, <laughs> the last time I did a bling bling with this was when, um, I'll link it in the description. This is the one for my cousin, a custom piece, and um, it was big. And she, uh, I ended up that same day I put this video up, um, YouTube made me creator on the rise. So an amazing honor. They only do it two people once a week. And pretty I was pretty honored that they chose me to be creator on the rise so that was kind of awesome now again that was last year that's not recent so it was last May but anyways when I put my video up because the color of the paint is um, top tomato the gentleman that was the other creator on the rise because they do two at a time he was a tomato gardener so I was getting people <laughs> coming to me thinking they were getting some tomato <laughs> pictures. <laughs> but instead, they got a bright red blingy painting. It was kind of cute. I thought it was funny. So yes, I opted. I don't know if you got that part in. I'm just going to go over. If I've already said it, I apologize because your host is technically challenged. So... Anyways, um, when I came down, I seen that glitter and I'm like, oh my goodness, perfect. I think the black would have been too dark. 
So my daughter, Kimberly, thank you. She's the one that was telling me I should do gold. So. And it works out well because I have, there is silver, but I have a lot of that beautiful blingy gold from last week's video. Not a lot, but there's some in there. Now this, I will come down and do a second coat. You know what, it almost, well, no, I can see where it's, so I'll do a, a thin second coat when I come down, it, when it's dry, that I'm not going to do, but with today, I'm doing it just because people, this is the most, I'm going to have to pick up, oh, my stupid hand, uh, I'm going to have to pick it up, um, I personally do not varnish these. I like the rawness of it. To me, it's, um, especially with this paint. This paint is a house paint. So when you put your paint on your walls, you don't come back over with a clear coat. It's finished, right? So th it's the same thing. I don't understand why you would do that with this paint. And um, even the acrylic paint, I just love the aspect of, Sorry, I'm not even showing you what I'm doing. I just love the aspect of it being that contrast between the blinginess and the um, not so shiny part. Do you know what I mean? And you can get matte. Yes, I get, I understand that. But um, I just like the rawness of the two together. I'm going to come back here and do this because I got a little on the end. So yes, so we will put a coat of clear on this after these are all dry. And uh, again, another thing, when I was first did these, um, I used spray paint and I still would prefer to use spray paint, but I love the, you know, when you're doing different colors and streaking it in. So you can't really get that effect with the spray paint. But again, if you're using spray paint, why do you need to varnish? Spray paint you're just doing an extra step and you're wasting your money. Spray paint is meant like, um, let me get a can. It's a paint and primer in one. Like paint and primer in one. So when you use, this is my most amazing, this is my favorite color. That's the one that's my, my first bling. Well, not my first bling bling, but the one that really took off. Um, this paint, you don't need to put a coat of anything on it because it's meant for outdoor stuff most of the time, spray paint. So you're throwing it outside in the sun and you don't coat it either. So it's, again, up to you. My personal preference is I would leave it raw. So I'm going to shut my mouth right now and I'm going to try and lean into the table so I can put you on pause and I'm going to let this dry and I will come back and I promise I will hit, I promise I will hit um, play when I come down and record the next time. I'll see you guys when it's dry. Okay, we are back and I have um, did a second coat already on these two because when I went and I finished here, they were dry. So I thought, well, I'll do those two and then I'll show you doing the second one on this one. So I'm going to just pour a little bit on here. Oh, I love this paint. It's expensive. I think they were 20 bucks a piece. I could be wrong. And you just want to get like a base, base, base coat and make sure if you see where you've got little spots, try and get it in there. And uh, it's another reason why I don't varnish in between because as it is, um, doing these videos take a long time. So when I do my videos, normally I've got nine, easily nine or 10 different segments that you have to put together. So, um, and don't get me wrong, I don't mind doing that. But that's another reason why I don't varnish because then you have to 
do another step. You got to wait another couple hours or an hour for it to dry because with these, you do not want to put anything on. Oh, look at that. You can see that shine. You can see why Sherry opted for this instead of the black. Um, you don't want um, it to be wet if you're going to put something on top of it because you will have glitter where you do not want it. So you have to 100% make sure everything is completely dry. So, and if I'm gonna varnish, I'm not varnishing this half. I'm just putting that out there, guys. So I'll varnish the silver, the gold, and that's gonna be it for the varnishing part. Because like I said, it's household paint. It doesn't need anything on it. So I'm making an executive decision. This is the only place where I get to make executive decisions because when I go upstairs, I don't have that power up there. <laughs> or at least I let my husband think I don't, uh, he has the power anyway. Ah, there's a hair in there. I'm just gonna smooth it all out. And you can still see you can still see a little bit of that mishap, but again, art, you do not have to worry because we can add it some bling to that. I am really not too worried, but I'm worried about this hair. Oh, oh my goodness. And this ain't gonna work. All right, let me just get this. I gotta be gentle with all my stuff because I can't go into the dollar store and buy anything. Don't they know that this is my business? It's like, ah, oh, I can't go buy popsicles. Yes, I know I can get it on Amazon, but the dollar store is cheaper. But anyways, there we go. I'm gonna let it dry completely. I'll be back. I'm going to give it a good hour, maybe two, and I'll come back. I will do a vote, a vote, a vote, <laughs> a coat of my Liquitex um, gloss varnish, and I'll put that on just the gold. So with that being said, my beautiful people, I'm going to lean forward and say, Hello and goodbye. I'll see you when it's dry. Hello, we are back. It is dry. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Okay. So I am using, like I said, I personally do not do this. I am just doing this for you lovely people because I've been getting the question a lot. So this is just Liquid X Basics. Sorry, Liquid X Professional. This is just gloss varnish. You can use Mod Podge if you desire as well. I've seen other people do it with the Mod Podge, but ugh, I'm just going to use this. And because, as I said in my other video this week, I've been varnishing everything I have. So I have this. Don't throw it away. Put it in a baggie. And it's still good to go. It's got lots in there. So with that, I'm just gonna give a squirt on each. And we're just gonna, like I said, look at, I didn't even, <laughs> there's lots left in this canvas, this uh, brush. So you just go back and forth. And you wanna have a thinner layer, do more coats if that's the case. But again, I just wanna get that off there. Again, I am not doing this half. It's house paint. Like I said, you don't varnish your walls, so. All right, just nice, even strokes. Very light. The lighter you go on your brush, the, um, the less streaks you'll get in your product. There we go. Look at that 
didn't even need to put any on this one. And again, there is, you can see that 100%, but you know what? Now, again, if I was selling, you know, if this is a custom piece, obviously I'm not going to do that. I'm, this, you know, for video purposing, purposes, I'm showing you that you can, you don't have to worry about everything. There we go. I'm just going to do one more down here. Just make sure the lines at the end aren't. And you want to make sure that your stuff is perfect from here down because there's going to be nothing on it, right? If you get the odd little thing that's in here, it doesn't really matter because you're going to cover it up, right? Now this one I'll put a little bit on just because. Oops, that's more than a little. All right. And then we're going to let this completely dry because you do not want it would turn into a whole glitter painting instead of just where you want to put it. And again, nice soft strokes at the end, just so that you're no lines. All right, now I'm going to get the edge. And there we go. Done. Again, <laughs> I'm going to state it again. I don't do this, so it's up to you. All right, we're going to let that dry. And guess what's coming next? The best part. This is all the preparation for the best part. All right, I will see you guys in a few minutes when it's dry. I have to purposely, mindfully keep making sure that I hit the record button. So anyways, I am back. We are all dry and I'm excited. I am using to adhere liquid glass. It is from TriArt. It is made in the local town where I'm at. And um, yeah, I like using it. It's not a, it's not a, there's no mixing. There's no, all that fun stuff. So that's liquid glass. I always put it in a squeeze bottle and we have our glitters. Now I had a lovely um, subscriber tell me that you can strain your glass and glitter but she was more so saying your glitters you can use a fine grit uh, or sorry a fine strainer and strain out your fine glitter f away from your chunky glitter and I'm like oh yeah okay thanks thanks so much but I never thought I would ever do it but I just dumped this is all of the the stuff that I did from last week's bling bling and I Chuck, chuck, chuck. All that's left in here is that Rock Collections chunky glitter. And look at all of Laura's glitters in there. <gasps> so, because with this stuff, you do want to lay um, the glass first. So I thought we're going to play. So this is my strainer. This is my silver. And we're going to we're going to do the same. Let's see. Oh, my hand. Sorry, guys. Soon, I hope I won't be complaining. I'm going to move that out of the way, so I'm not going to do it over top of the canvas. There we go. Look at all that. I don't know if you can see it falling through. Now I'm not going to do this with all of them, but I thought with this one I have got this is just all silver. 
and I'm gonna leave that one at that. It's got Mar Martha in it that, uh, all right, and this one, I wanted to do the, this almost looks like my homemade glitter. Actually, I'll pour it in this one. Oh, that's so funny, and I have, I have so many of these strainers for my Floetrol, because I forget to um, <laughs> rinse it off as soon as you do it because you will end up with um, this one might be too fine you'll end up with um, yeah it is too fine it clogging up and you can't use it all right we're gonna go this way that one was too fine shake shake and this has that lovely teal. Sorry, this is easier for me with my thumb. I know you guys are getting tired of hearing about my thumb. <sighs> well, it didn't do much with that one. So I'm just gonna dump it back in instead of having all of this stuff everywhere. I must really take these uh, out because I don't want glitter in my flow trowel. That would be horrible. All right, enough of that. We are going to get down to business. All right, so we have, whoops, sorry guys. I'm just gonna give this all a quick little brush because I don't want, I just wanna make sure It'll all brush off. Okay, good. So it's nice to make sure that it's all really dry. Like it's dry to touch, but you never know. All right. We're gonna get all messy, messy anyways. There we go. Make sure you're all in there. So with that, we are going to put down our liquid glass. Normally I have it in that other squeeze bottle, but I'm gonna, I'm going to start this way because I'm using my left hand. Wide. Do not go over the edge, but it's like, again, this is your project. You can do what you want with it. And it's, how did that get over there? That's hilarious. just gonna my wide line See, and that little speck that I was worried about is, well, I wasn't worried, but it's going to get covered. See, right there. I wonder why I was dripping. It's all, <laughs> it's, I was squeezing too hard. It's coming out the side. All right. And you can use, I always, oh, I don't have any left. I used them all. And I can't go buy any at the dollar store. Too funny. I'm gonna go a little bit more. And again, mindfully, and that's up to you if you want to um, have it come over. Here we go. We'll start with the center. And oh, I have to do it this way. Sorry, guys. Uh, all right. We will squeeze. And I'm going to do this because I want to cover. 
as much as I can of that. So that's pretty good. And just zigzag up and down. Try and keep it straight. And then thicken it out in the middle. I'm used to using the little squirt bottle for this. And then just stand back, take a look. You might want a little more. And actually, you know what? You can put anything in this. I just tend to not. Now today I won't because I've got mixtures of glitters. Next one I do. I will definitely be putting um, something in it just to show you that you can, all right, not too bad. All right, let's go. We'll start in the center again and bring a couple down really long. And then widen it out. Try it, make them not to be the same, but make the width. like with one. All right, here we go. Then we're going to just make a bunch of little ones just so it doesn't look so uh, like a uniformed. It's probably all going to amalgamate into each other anyways. I kind of like that idea there. Looks like icicles. So yes, my next one I will do. Let me just bring something in here. Stand back and look after before you start with your Oops, we don't want a blob. There. All right, here we go. Let's do a tall one, little one. like to give it a good like before when I was doing them these um, lines weren't as thick as I'm doing them I changed that up a little because I quite enjoyed having some of that chunky glitter on a lot of these ends or the glass sorry I just want to put make sure that it's all the way to the edge there we go I'll put that one out and then just come back and play. Like, you got one canvas, it don't matter, so you're not gonna play like this. So you're making sure everything is kind of even with each other. Again, I love the multi-canvases. And I'm having an issue with my giveaway I haven't heard from quite a few people. So I had three right away, bing, 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 the day of, but I have not heard from four. So I'm going to, well, this is gonna dry. I will go upstairs. I will go through and double check and see who has not. And you need to get a hold of me because I'm gonna repick. If I don't get a hold of these people, cause it's been almost a month since I did the draw. So I want to make sure 
Maybe I'll bring some more gold deeper in this one. And just because this is in the middle right now, it doesn't have to be in the middle all the time. But I'm looking at this guy, and he's a little longer. So maybe I'll do this guy long. Without a dot. There we go. Yeah, perfect. And I'm an oddball, right? It's not in the middle. <laughs> Some people would have to have it in the middle. All right, we're going to start off with the gold. I'm going to go evenly over all of the canvases. I'm not going to do a stripe of blue, a stripe of pink, stripe of... I'm going to carry it through all of it. So I'm going to start at this end. Oh, no, I'm not because Sherry has to use the other hand because it won't work. All right, here we go. And I'm going to come back if I need more glass. I will come back with it with some of the glass that I have. And again, I'm getting glitter when I don't really want the glitter at the moment, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna try to get the glass without the glitter. If there's a few pieces of glass left that's fine so now we're going to come over and i'm going to try and get this silver glass in here oh i can't do that actually you know what i'm going to grab my gold because i love the thickness of it sorry hidden behind my screen oh i should have picked some up yesterday i don't have any much gold left I'm gonna bring out my gold and I'm gonna bring out that blue glass. We got lots of silver here, but I'm gonna put, I want, I want this to be, so we're doing old and new, so. And I love the, the thickness of this chunky, I'm just going to use what I have left. No! I'm joking. <laughs> it's all good. Woohoo! One down. Another container. Okay, now. What I'm going to do, we have this copper with, with the gold in it as well. So I'm gonna try and get there, okay. A little bit of that copper in every one of them. my friends okay now where's the other copper this is a copper as well with the pearls in it there's one pearl I hope I have three pearls so they each get one in Whoop. and if not oh no I might just grab these pearls out because I think they just not really okay now, what have we got now? Let's do the blue. Oh, a lot of blue there, oh my goodness. Oh my God, okay, I gotta turn my fan off because it is blowing my heater. Use the other hand. Oh my goodness, Sherry. 
Sorry guys, I'm not a normally a whiner. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna come and sprinkle some of this blue glitter that I have. Okay. I'm seriously gonna have to come back with a lot of this glass right now. So I'm gonna put some of this blue glass because that's how I how I like to define that line is with the glass. heavy. I've got quite a bit of this one, so I want it to come in heavy down the center. Actually, this probably would have been a nice one to do with just like a pearl white and a pearl black canvas separated. Like I'm, I'm seriously coating this centerpiece because this is where you want everything to hide that line. And because these colors are so drastically different. Oh my goodness. Another one bites to dust. Oh my goodness. Okay. Debating the pink, I don't know. Maybe I'll do the pink just on this part. Do I do it? Do, oh, I, uh, uh, okay, we'll do a little bit of pink down here. Just, oh, because we want to use it. We said we're going to use it all. Oh. I just don't know if the pink is going to oh, be nice with the, uh, it'll be nice on the gold, but I'm not sure about the top. back with the rest of this gold. Is that what was her thing? Goldfinger? Okay, let's do this. And I've got more of this glitter, so I'm gonna come heavy with this gold just to cover up all of that. And that's why I've got so much of this, because that's what I exactly what I did with the um, the other one. And you could do this even like as a rainbow, if you wanted to. I just thought if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna mix it all up. I'm just gonna. And you know what, you could mix this glitter right into that stuff. I think actually that would be kind of cool. 
and then that way it, it looks like glitter drops of rain. Here, we're just going to shake it. <laughs> and then, this is so funny, after I finish this, because my husband's in bed, I will go upstairs, and because he has a comfy chair, I sit in his chair. Well, I've been informed that I'm not supposed to be sitting in his chair, because when he gets up to go to the bathroom, he is covered in glitter. So, too funny. All right, here we go, Laura. I'm using your amazing stuff. This one is... Olympic gold medal and I just want to make sure that like I said all of these are covered It was good to put it in the shaker. This works quite well. I got these at Michael's. They came in a pack of six, I think. All right, oh my goodness. Well, we put, I got black. We have so much. We're just gonna do one little shimmy shimmy of black. There's a lot on here, my friends. And this has my home, yeah, it looks like my homemade glass in there. Okay. We have a little bit of eight. We got a little bit of everything, so I don't want to go too much more. I think we're good. So I used quite a bit of it up. Now, I'm going to come back and strategically place some of these in here that I can see. It would be cute. Instead of having them just laying around. Let me see. There's some there. There. All right. I'm going to try and shake my glitter off so the hubby's not mad at me. But he, he won't know. He's in bed. They say opposites attract because I tell you. I'm in bed at 9, 10 o'clock, and he's just going to bed when I get up at 5 or 4. Today it was 3. All right, I'm going to leave that, and hopefully, I'm just going to give it a little shimmy down, because there's so much on there. Eh, you know what? It might look tacky in the end, but I thought we're going to go big or go home. All right, I'll see you guys probably about four hours. That's what I like about this. <clears throat> Sorry, I went squeaky. That's what I like about the liquid glass. It also dries quicker than the resin that I was using. And I can come down here sometimes not even two hours and it's adhered enough that I could shake off. So enough with that. I'll see you when it's dry. Bye. Hello, we are back. We are dry. And I'm excited. So I have a puppy pad. Best way to catch your glass glitter and all that lovely, beautiful stuff so you can keep it. If you put it on this side, it's hard to get off. On this side of the puppy pad, it, um, it just brushes right off. So here's my centerpiece. Oh my goodness. I came down earlier just to see so I'm gonna, I tend to like to brush everything to the inside. I'm gonna, hopefully you can see it all. And hopefully, I know there's gonna be a lot of drop off in this center. <laughs> so now we're gonna have a new mixture. and just get a 
There we go. Sorry, guys. Oh, Laura, look at that glitter. And again, I do not seal this glitter. I personally like it raw and I'm going to flip it this way so I can get off. Ugh. I wonder why I had to go upstairs with glitter. I just, you know, hit my brush off the side of my leg. Husband's going to be a glitter magnet tonight because I was up in his chair and he'll never know because he's still sleeping again. So, oh, that's big and that's a lot in there. But you know what, guys? I'm not hating it. I am actually not too bad. And you know what? I do not own a vacuum. Oh, there's a lot there. I don't own a vacuum cleaner. So we have all hardwood floors and yeah. So with that, if you desired, you could use um, a vacuum with the soft bristle to do now this part. I wouldn't do it to, to do this initial shake, but I would do it to get off that extra part. So look at that, there is number one. I'm just gonna move number one over there. Now, let's go. Again, like I said, I like to shake, I like to brush into the center, and then that way you're getting all the, whoops, getting some big chunks off, which I don't want, but. And you, this probably could have sat for a little bit longer, but for me, for video uploading purposes, I am <laughs> probably a little bit more than I should. All right, a little bit quicker than I should. Ideally, I would have left it till tomorrow, but guess what? It is Saturday. So if I left it till tomorrow, I would have some very disappointed glitter addicted ladies and men for not having a bling bling on Sunday. Woo! Oh my goodness. And this right here, is why you make sure that your paint is completely dry. Whoops, you heard that glass, eh? Because if this is not completely dry, all these little wee guys that are sticking in here would be literally really stuck. And I did three pieces, but you know what? There are four pieces of three pieces of art that you could have separately. Ugh. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm sorry. I just want to get the majority off and then once they're all done, then I'll come back and do another one. Like that is beautiful. I'm hoping you can see. All right. Number two. I'm getting rowdy. I'm knocking things over, guys. It's that glitter. Let me just... See, that's why I like this, putting it in this. <laughs> that is a lot. That was, sorry, an evil laugh. Okay, one more time. But I... Because the colors, again, are so drastic, like that red is so sharp, I uh, wanted to make sure that that line was covered in the center. Woo, look at 
look at that. I think I'm going to start a new group. Glitters Anonymous. And I'm going to see how many people are going to join. What do you think, guys? I'll be the first to stand up. Hi, my name is Sherry. I am an addict. And I don't mean light of any. I'm not meaning that. I don't mean to be disrespectful to any. Anything else, but I am a glitter addict. Sorry. Woo! I know I'm brushing them. I'm sorry. Uh, I keep forgetting that my hand hurts. Okay. All right. Perfect. Now I'm going to flip it so I can brush it inward. Oh, my goodness. get a different brush. <laughs> oh, I knocked over my Milky Way painting. All right. Let's just try and fine tunely get this out of here. Too worried because it's the gold that's lingering. And there you go, number three. Mumbo number three. Is it? Oh, that's number five. Mumbo number five. <laughs> All right, let's get this. And again, with these, it don't matter which order because I can't remember which. I'm just gonna try and get this. Most of the silver, the gold off of the red part sorry guys there you go number two and number three just beautiful now like I said there's a lot going on here my friends but you know what it's glitter it's glitter and glass and that's okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put you on pause and run around the room to pick you up and I'm gonna put it on my screen I'll give you a little show and tell on the screen and then since my everyone's asleep still I'm gonna go upstairs and throw it on my wall and see what it looks like upstairs so with that I'll be right back there you go guys it is on the screen it is just look at all of that and I love the color wasn't sure at first with the colors but that's beautiful now I'm gonna turn off my studio lights and let's see how much that sparkles let's let this adjust look at that <laughs> if I can move around ah, I don't want to hit anything okay like I'm just gonna bring you from the side because like look at that There's a party going on here, guys, all the time. <laughs> so there you go. There's the, the golden top tomato. <laughs> there you 
you go, guys. So, with that being said, I hope you had an amazing Sunday. I hope you stayed in all your fancy clothes. And, yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. Would be muchly appreciated. And hit that bell for notifications so when I put up my next video, you will be notified. And in my description box, I have my Facebook page. I have my Amazon shops. I also have the link to Laura's Art Corner, which is where a lot of these amazing glitters came from. And if you use my discount code, it is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton, 10%. You'll get 10% off your order. So go check out Laura's Art Corner. Because, again, I'm going to start an addiction class. <laughs> a Facebook page. A new addiction Facebook page. And also in there is my PayPal link if you would like to donate. And also the link is to my... Um, it is not mine. I wish it was mine. But the liquid um, glass. Try art liquid glass. There's also a link for that. And there you go, guys. My winded ending is finished. So I'm going to take you upstairs. I'm going to hopefully put them on the wall. And I'll give you just a quick glimpse. And I will see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye. There you go. It's on the wall. Oh my goodness. I am really actually quite happy with that. Now, because we did so many different colors, you don't see all the different colors. Um, remember I did pink, just the pink down here? Now that I can notice. Now I can see the blue glass. Ignore this right here because I will have to put, touch the, I'm gonna touch the, there. I didn't quite get the edges. But um, yeah, I, I see the blue. Um, I can, oh, okay, I can see the teal and like the big blue, like these are big blue chunks of glass, but I can see the teal in here and I can see blue. Now remember the pink I just did on the bottom because I wasn't sure if the pink would clash with the top, but there you go. Ah, another one. Well, with that being said, my amazing people, I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.